I knew something was wrong, that it was that long of an ultrasound. They just kept going over and over the brain and the heart and the brain and the heart. And I would ask questions and the tech, could, of course, couldn't tell me anything. But the doctor had come in and was doing an ultrasound of her own and she said, um, said something to the ultrasound tech about the brain or something, noting something about the brain. And so then I just lost it because I knew something was wrong. And um, so she stopped and she talked to us about what she found. And she found three brain malformations and two heart defects. And, you know, at that point, you know, you almost feel like you're going to throw up because it's like, you know, something's wrong with her brain. And so from there, it, it just kind of went downhill. I probably had the most hope because I thought they're all wrong about everything. She's going to come out and she's going to be perfect. There's nothing wrong with her. It started getting easier this, the day that she was born, and she was finally here. And you know, we could see you know she's breathing. She's you know um, she was real tiny. So Anna Pruitt came to us from the hospital right away. She was referred, and both Debbie and I, um, Debbie's with AIDB. She's one of our early interventionists. We came out to the family to see them for the first initial intake and for evaluation and assessment. When you bring her home and you don't know, you've got three kids, you know, like I said, they've all been healthy, um, but you don't know a single thing about caring for a special needs baby. Um, that's where the value and the importance of early intervention has been for me, at least as a dad. They're like part of my family. They come and it's easy and they walk in my door without asking. And I mean, but that's good. Like, I love that. I love that I feel like they're part, they love me and they love my child and they feel welcome. I can't, I can't emphasize enough what the, the stability from having early intervention in her life from the start, you know, from almost immediately when she was brought home, what that stability brought to our family. So to me, it's good for me to have some, some sort of structure coming in and setting goals. And I know that she has met and exceeded so many goals that Debbie has written down or Mandy has written down. In the last two or three weeks, she's kind of had this explosion of, of things that she's, that she's starting to do. Like she started to crawl. She's cooing and she's laughing and she communicates through all those things. Um, one of the most recent videos other than crawling that Rachel posted was she was sitting in her high chair all alone and she's reaching for food and feeding herself. So she has definitely come a long way. I honestly cannot take any credit for what she has accomplished because uh, <laughs> I just love her and play with her and I'm here with her all day, but they are the ones that do the work with her and suggest what I do with her. And then she's got siblings who I think push her further than in most children. You can tell that, that she adores her siblings and, um, and, and they do her as well. It's just been real rewarding to see how she has affected, you know, their growth and, and, um, and as far as their love is. I mean, they just, they fight over who gets to hold her. It's just gonna be interesting to see what my kids do in the future with their life. Like, if Ren's gonna be a doctor, or Griffin's gonna be a nurse, and Miller's gonna be a teacher. You just don't ever know how these special children shape your families so great. Um, we owe a lot to, to all of our early intervention and CRS reps um, just because of how much they taught us and how much better they've made us as parents in caring for her. I just feel like they're encouraging to me. You know, when doctors are down and giving you negative, they're always, they've always been positive from the get-go. Never once have I felt like, well, she may not do that. I've always heard, well, you just never know.